thought I'd do a short little video on this uh, Harbor Freight um, tail hitch motorcycle uh, rack. So you just slide this on a two inch receiver and um, it's designed where there are these gaps right here where this is at. That and in here and you pull these two pins out and so when you roll your motorcycle up on this the front and rear tire drop into these these gaps well what i found was that with the uh, scooters the wheelbase is so short uh, the front tire would be sitting up on top right here and the rear tire would drop in here or vice versa i'd put if i brought it up this side the rear tire would drop in here and the front tire would be sitting up on here. So I thought I would show you how I modified this really quickly. Um, so if I flip this over, you can see how these treads are riveted in. So what I did is I drilled the rivets out on this one and when I drilled the rivets out, I found that these are actually installed on a, on a rail. So what I do is I put this cross pin in here, which is designed to go through the tire. And I just slide that over. And now... That gap where the tire would drop in has moved, been moved from where it was here before to here. And now, when I load up the scooters, you'll see in a moment, the rear tire drops right in here and the front tire drops right in here. I did drill new cross holes so I could install um, a pin through the tire so the drop tire drops in there and you can slide this pin in there and I found that I really didn't need that at least on the the blue scooter uh, scoot one uh, it might be different when I use this with a white scooter I may use those pins I do use the chalk in the back to tighten up against the tire the rear tire that seems to work good but on the first time i used this i did not need to use these pins so um this worked out really good i think it was i've looked at some of the reviews that people got it for a hundred dollars i think i ended up spending 120 um i think it was 149 and i had a 25 percent off coupon for a tent sale or something like that but um you just slide this in the two inch receiver and then you um, bind down on these pieces here on your receiver and that really cuts down the wobble. And uh, it worked out really good, it was easy. It took me just a few minutes to install it and it took me maybe another few minutes, 10, 15 minutes, including the time to strap it down. 15 minutes in total to install it, put the scooter on there and and tie it down so it worked out really good well worth the investment keeps me from having to trailer it if i'm just doing one scooter this is what i use if i'm doing two scooters and we're riding if i'm riding with somebody else and we're going off somewhere else to start in the trip then i'll put them in a trailer and we'll hook the trailer up to the to the rodeo <laughs>